This video is sponsored by MotionElements.com. Today we're talking VHS and how you can emulate this iconic look for free inside Premiere Pro, as well as how you can do it even better with a few simple clicks in After Effects using one of my new favorite plugins. And as an added bonus, stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can take it a step further and achieve not only this cool surveillance effect, but this trendy thermal effect in just a few clicks as well. So let's get into it. Up first, let's look at how we can achieve this effect for free right inside Premiere Pro with zero help from plugins. So with our footage on our timeline, apply Lumetri Color to your footage and under the Creative tab, set Faded Film to around 50 and sharpen to negative 50. Now duplicate your clip onto the layer above your original footage and set the blend mode to lighten. Now we just wanna search for the ASCCDL effect and we're going to use this effect to give us a sort of red and blue halation glow effect which you would typically see on authentic VHS footage. So with our ASC effect on our secondary clip, we can set our blue slope and green slope settings to zero and leave everything else as is. Now you won't really notice a change just yet, but next apply the Gaussian blur effect to your clip and set the blurriness to 50 and blur dimensions to horizontal. Now we can start to see the subtle color glow effect taking shape. Next, just duplicate that secondary clip one more time, and all you need to do is set your red slope to zero this time and blue slope to one, so we have both a red and blue subtle glow on our footage. Now, because VHS footage is typically in a four by three aspect ratio, we can create a new adjustment layer and put it above our three video layers, then apply the crop effect to it and set both our left and right crop settings to 14. Now, I find the edges here are pretty sharp still, so just set the edge feather on our crop effect to 20 and you'll get a nice soft edge. Next, the simplest way to bring this effect to life is to apply a VHS overlay to our footage, which you can download for free in the description of this video. But don't worry though, in the next section of the video, I'll be showing you a way to achieve an even more realistic VHS effect without using any sort of cheap overlays like the one used in this method. Continuing on with this first method, I'll nest my three clips together and then drag in my VHS overlay on top of the nest. And finally set the blending mode to screen and we have a final effect that looks like this. Now, this is a bit of a tedious process, especially if you want to apply it to a bunch of different footage in your edit. So for me, it makes sense to use a plugin that can do all of this in a few simple clicks. But before we get into that, let me show you another way we can save a bunch of time with your edits. Imagine finishing your edits in half the time. With websites like motionelements.com, now you can for a fraction of the price. With over 14 million digital stock assets from videos, Premiere and After Effects templates, royalty-free music, and a lot more, you can stop wasting time creating assets from scratch and instead browse some customizable world-class templates. And the best part of it all, you can get unlimited downloads for just $19.90 a month without a one-year commitment. With millions of premium assets at your fingertips, it's a steal compared to similar platforms that can charge up to $100 monthly. Just use code Justin Saran 9 for 70% off your first month when you sign up for an unlimited subscription plan at motionelements.com. Now for the grand finale, let me show you how we can use After Effects to create some really stunning VHS results, as well as how to create this surveillance style look and even this trendy thermal look that you see in a lot of music videos. So with our footage in our After Effects composition, head up to Windows and under the Extensions tab, we'll open up our VHS Cam plugin. Now, this is a paid plugin, so if you like what you see here, make sure to hit the link in my bio to go grab yourself a copy and use code Justin while you're at it to get it at a discounted rate. Now, once our plugin menu is open, just select the comp your footage is in and then hit launch. Once it loads, you'll see we already have a publish ready effect that looks great and we can filter through some additional settings to choose our favorite base look. I personally like this point and shoot look, so we'll go with that one today but choose whatever looks best on your specific footage. Now we have these four boxes down here that can filter on and off depending on the look you're going for, but I typically like to leave them all on as it gives the most authentic look in my opinion. Additionally, we can adjust our overlay settings, which are these camera display settings up top that you'd see on a traditional VHS camera. There's 11 presets to choose from that all look pretty cool, or we can choose this X here to leave this setting blank. I also really like how you can adjust the scale of the overlays as well down here. Now, if we head back to the main menu, we can select glitches, which allows us to customize our footage with authentic VHS glitches from this preset menu here. We can also increase the intensity of noise with this slider here and toggle on and off these additional settings to further customize our effect. Now, lastly, if we head up to source from our main menu, we can really dial in our effect 
using these custom settings. If we filter through our interlaced settings, you'll see it increases the intensity of the interlaced footage, which is common on different VHS style cameras. We can also use this scale slider below to increase the spacing between the scan lines to increase the effect itself. Now, although I love the look of the 4x3 aspect ratio, we can also adjust the aspect ratio here to fit our specific needs. So we can filter through the options and just choose our favorite. Finally, we can dial in our color settings using these sliders here in case you want to color match your VHS footage with some other footage in an edit, for example. Now, like I said, this is a paid plugin, but if you hit the link in the description and use code Justin, it'll save you some money at checkout. And most importantly, don't forget to check out motionelements.com for all of your video editing needs. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.